going to get worse. Yeah. Now, it, 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 this, this is, this is the, you know, and I don't, it, it's not the scary thing, but you know that it's the season of virus, right? Yeah. And it's summertime. Uh, and so this is crazy. That's why you've got to be able to trust God on this one. Yeah. you got to trust God on this. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then my uncle told me, she said, the Lord will provide. She always would say, the Lord will provide. Yeah. And she always did say, the Lord, you promise. Yeah. And when it seemed like it was dark and whatever well, time, she said, the Lord, you promise. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then like, if you put the two together, the Lord, you promise to provide. Uh -huh. Lord, you promise to provide. Yeah. And, 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 and her back again, be against the wall or whatever, uh, she was dealing with something, she said, the Lord, you promise. Yeah. And I, mean, I, I, I find myself on the shirt sitting and saying that for a person. Lord, you promise. Mm -hmm. I don't get shaken and I'll be trembling. That kid, you know, back against the wall and lots of bills. And, and I, you know, I still have to raise a lot of money every month. But I mean, lots of money. Yeah. Lots of money. Yeah. And, but, they're never shaking and trembling. I said, but Lord, you promise. Oh, yeah. Lord, you promise. Lord, you promise. That's what God is. It gives you that confidence. He's there with you. He got my back. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He got me. Tell somebody, the Lord got you. Yeah. The Lord got me. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. We're in this little bit time. Come on. Uh, come on, y'all. Yeah. Bless you, Lord. Can you read comment every Sunday? I know some Sunday is and 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 Clem and and then uh Clem and uh Debbie Debbie was have been traveling with his wife. Uh and and uh, you know I gotta say this. I mean the can you read comment every every Sunday I sit here and uh and I what Sunday one Sunday I said about the musician, then I did say about some other folks that came to me, brother with me. I have a church say, but I've been here every Sunday too. Even the brother Paul and the trustee didn't the watch the part of I just want to thank everybody for everything. Because nobody can get after you. You know, black folks get some dance after you. And, and during this pandemic, they can blame it on the, on the pandemic. Uh, God bless you, amen. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I mean, y'all know that the victory is yours.
Jason. Mercy has good God healed right now. How many thank you, Jesus? And the Holy Ghost. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing, how good God has been to us. Amen. Thank God for keeping us alive. Everybody still got a job. Everybody still healthy. What did I know? Nobody has a virus. Amen. Amen. Have the blessing, amen. And we thank God for blessing, amen. How did know God do it? Amen. Praise God. He's in the prayer. He's in the call in prayer. We have about more than 1,000 people. You call in prayer. I'm closing. Amen. 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 And amen. And we did. And God bless. You know, God is blessed. I told someone, God is really blessing the church. We're reaching so many. Thousands of people. Yes. And every week, amen. So we pray, man, after if we're not minister a million people a week, it's a half million. Oh, a half million more. Yeah. Straight from here to the church. Uh -huh. Amen. The so last week, amen, we got 741, 42,000 people. And 42,000. That's a lot of folks. Over oh, half million folks. Amen. 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 What God is doing. Amen. How good God is. Amen. 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 We thank God. Amen. So many times. Amen. Amen. We call y'all. Amen. Faith is what you want to get out of life. You know, some people don't want that in our life. They want religion, that's all they want. But faith is, uh, amen, and what, I, I, I want you to understand that faith has nothing to do with man-made knowledge and what man do. And you want to read this, uh, six chapter Mark, and, and, uh, <laughs> 7 chapter down, verse 15, 16. Why the man you with some wisdom, what I'm trying to get you to understand. God's word is not built upon man with the man knowledge. If it was built upon man with the knowledge, it would be natural. But God's word is built upon the supernatural. There's nothing natural about this Bible. This Bible is a supernatural book. Where yeah. well, anything can take place. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And, amen. That's why I say sometimes, amen, people, sometimes people just want to go to church. Uh -huh. But if you want real faith, it's something you're going to have to do. Yeah. Right? I know you look at it and say, well, we didn't get faith in it. No, Amen. You do something without, like, you, amen. Jesus came on the mountain and the disciples trying to cast the devil out of the water. Uh -huh. Could you get him out? Uh -huh. Now, Jesus, when the devil come out, they asked him, amen, why could they cast him out? Why? He said, this time, come out by passing the way. Sometimes, someday, you just can't do it. Then you give up something. So, uh, amen. I want to be, I want you to get it good because, amen. I, I, I'm, if I'm going to do some of the same scriptures almost I went through last week. But, uh, what I want you to see is you know, what faith is really all about. And how, amen, God, amen. I'm going to go to the book of Acts and the Apostles that I read it. I'm going to tell you something else about it this time. Third chapter, the book of Acts. The twelfth book. And when Peter saw it, he answered. Now what? When the people come together. And unto the people, the men of Israel, why are we at this? Or why look 
me so uneasy on us. And through our own power of holiness, we have made this thing walk. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, huh? the God of Abraham. Now, this is what I want you to see. Now, and, and what you need to look at, why did he come back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Huh? Now, one thing is to let you know what you have to do to have his faith. Come back to Abraham. Why he said, Amen. Now you got to look at Abraham had to give up his household, his family, yeah. his little one. Yeah. Huh? Have his faith. So Amen. So Amen. Faith, Amen, is always gonna cost you a price. Some you had to give up. Amen. Amen, but we didn't let you see it. Amen, we didn't say it. Amen, but had glorified his son, Jesus, whom we delivered up oh, and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was a to let go. Amen. And decided, amen, praise God. Yes. I mean all that. I mean, I want to show you something. Now, back. Now, y'all would just find it real good. I'm going way back over to the Matthew. And I'm going to get this a little bit. But when you take Abraham, you, you, you follow me when I say Abraham. Abraham was to let you know that God, you can't be like God. Truthfully. You can be like him, but to think about having what God has, you may not believe it. But, God got Abraham, you can have what Abraham had. Yeah. You see what God? That was supernatural and unnatural thing that Abraham had and was in his way. We turned to Matthew, amen, praise God, and amen. And I was, uh, we talked about, I want to get back and now so you see what comes from. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, uh, amen. Each other man you feel free. And everybody that gives you a sentiment. And when Jesus was entered into his appointment, there came unto him a centurion to see him, and said, Lord, my servant lies at the home, sick of the law, the freedom of the And Jesus said unto him, I will come and kill him. And the centurion out there said, Lord, I'm not worthy that I should. Come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man of authority, having so much of me, and I said to this man, Go, and he goes, and to the Lord come, and he cometh. And to my servant do this, and they do it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said unto him, That father tells him that father, But I say unto you, I have not found. So great faith. No, in all your freedom. And I say unto you that many shall come from me and went and shall sit down with Abraham. Y'all get it? That's why I'm trying to let you see who we're talking about. Abraham sat down who? With Abraham. Now, this is faith is all. Amen. Abraham had a good faith. And we can have, we have children, we can we have children of God and, uh, and have a faith of Abraham. But, Abraham had to give up something. To get where you're going, you had to give up something. You can just go around and just, Abraham, just go to church. But if you really want to, Amen. Have a ministry or get some great things out of life. It means that you know that Abraham gave him, had to give him something. I gonna give him some. Jacob had to give him something. I get to Jacob. I want to get to get to him too. So he said, now this is a man. This is God of Abraham. Just a man. Praise God. Amen. Man, praise God. 
He had given up something. Amen, y'all. I wish it bother you now. Amen. So I want you to know if you want to be blessed of the Lord, you're going to have to give us something. How bad do you want to be blessed? Huh? Yeah. Amen. How bad do you want God to work in your life when ain't nothing happening? Ain't nothing happening, amen. I just want to say it. Amen. And you got to, amen. You're going to have to give yourself a day, amen. Let's go to Galatians. I want to get it before you got to know it. Amen. I'm going to skip Galatians 3 and 7. Oh, my God. 14. I mean, yeah, this chapter 14. Amen. so good to us, isn't it? Amen. 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 Now you say here, yeah. that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Yeah. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And God told you that, didn't he? But to receive that is something you as an individual would have to do to get it. Huh? Yes. You might give up something. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. I know we think we can get everything we want and do everything we want to do. But if you want the best out of life, it's going to cost you. You're not going to get the best out of life by they come to church. It's going to cost you a separation from a lot of things to have real faith. Y'all get the point? Yeah. You can have faith to get a few little things, and, you know, but to, have, to get the best out of life, it depends on you. Your life. And how much of your life can you give up to trust God? How much are you willing to give up to cast out devil, to heal the sick? You want to say it? Amen. Now you have to listen to what they say. Let's amen. Amen. Come on, get that praise God. Amen. Amen. And we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Lord, let's speak not after the matter of of men, though it be a man covet, yet if it, if, if, if it be uh, conformed, no man is allowed to that or uh, add to that too. Now to Abraham and to his seed, we did promise to, uh, uh, well, the promise made. He said, not and to seed, not. And the men put out into one and do not see with the Christ. There we come. And this I said that the covenant that was confirmed before God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after the cannot be saved, that it should make the promise of God never fit. But the promise be of the law is no more promise. But God gave the Abraham by promise. That means if God give you a promise, it's something you better do to get it. You look like Abraham, you got a promise, right? But that's something you better do to receive the promise. It wasn't that the idea that God gave a promise. They go ahead and say, hey, well, I'm going to be a father of the nation. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. He had to give up something. And we want to give up something to receive. Now, I know you can get to the church of your life and just get just relief. But when you go down to get the real stuff, 
You go out and get real unoffended faith, but I can call you up here and say, Brother, I'm going to pray for you and you be healed. I'm going to cast that devil out of you. Huh? That means you're going to give them a little bit more than just sitting on their seat. Or if you want the blessing of God in your life, or call, it just, see, this power is going to show you something, it doesn't come. This is not a natural book. Uh -huh. it, it does not work on natural knowledge. Yeah. You read 6 chapter. He didn't get that knowledge from man. 7 chapter of all, he didn't get that knowledge from man. Uh -huh. So, when you come to God, you don't impress God by your knowledge. You don't impress God by your will. Yeah. I don't care nothing about your will. You come to God, you come to God, amen, do it by faith. Amen. You don't care how much you know. How smart you are. You don't get nothing about being smart coming to God because the God didn't get this out of man's book. Amen. He didn't get it from man's law. If he had a guy from man's law, then he would have been a natural God and not a supernatural God. The treasures of God is, is in Jesus. The wisdom and knowledge, sanctification, redemption, all that's in Jesus. He didn't need no man knowledge. He was God. That's why a lot of times we don't have faith because we come to God and want to come to God according to our knowledge. The thing they get, are you listening? And that's the thing that foolish to God. But God takes the foolish day of the world and can find them high. He don't need your God. He's God. He don't need, amen, amen, how many degrees you have. He's God. And since he's God, he don't come to God telling God, you know, man, you know, I did this and I did that. Well, you can't wait to school that. You know, God is faith. You come to God to receive God for a gift of God because you come to God to receive from God because the only way you can get blessing from God is by faith. This is not a natural thing. Yes, y'all understand? But I'm going to give that just to give that for a second. Way back on the book of Genesis because, amen. Amen. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Amen. Some of those stuff. But it is not natural. You want to be blessed. And I know we all want to be blessed. And, and I know we can teach you to look at that blessed and shout. Shout me not blessed. Dance and not blessed. Talk me in tongue and not blessed. Blessed is when you, as an enemy, make it with your mind you're going to receive what God has to show you, to show for you. And this is why, amen, the Bible teaches the one thing. Abraham believed God. Now, you see what I'm saying? Now, you can understand that Abraham, now, he didn't say Abraham had faith in God. Right? He said Abraham believed God. What does that mean? See, when you believe in the continuation of a thing. Huh? Believe in it, amen, it means something. See, belief. When you really believe God, there's a supernatural thing that takes place in your life. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, faith is not yes. But belief is. He had belief. You see what I'm saying? Even when he said, amen, amen, you can your mind to Lord Jesus and believe in your and believe in your heart and God raised the dead thou shall be saved. Yes. Yeah. To believe in the instant thing. And also in the continuation huh? into what you really seeking for. So when you use it, you, you really, amen, when you get to the end of what you get, then it comes to faith. 
But when you're holding on to something and believing it and believing it and you're not, you're pressing for something, huh? Uh -huh. I'm not, you pressing, you ain't even can't give it up. It's something you know you can have. You know God has promised you and you're going to press to get it. You're not going to give it up. You're not going to say, hey man, I'm going to take down a little heart. You're going to press the claim, amen, believing that you're going to receive the thing that God has promised you, and that's what you believe yes. with all your heart. With yes. everything you got in that thing, so you believe it. I don't care what it is. When you believe a thing strong enough, you're going to receive it. Yes. Yes. There's no doubt about getting that book God has promised you you believe it. I don't care what it is. Yeah. You might need some faith in there. Why did it mean that it's that? But believe it, it means there was something that gripped your soul, gripped your heart. You can't let it go. And you won't give it up. You believe it. And even though it's not working, you still believe it. Yeah. That's not that I believe it. Even though it got promised something, and it's not what you think, it's what you do. But read in one thing. You know God didn't lie. Uh -huh. You know if you are not receiving what you believe for, and you know it's not God's fault. You know it's your fault. Yeah. So that's why you got to go back to the table and give up to the devil. Yeah. If you want it. Let me know one day I won't be like anybody else in my life. I won't be like anybody else. That's why I had to sign my life. I didn't want to be like anybody else. Because you won't be like anybody else, you ain't gonna pray for nothing. Amen. Everybody out there won't look like that and act like that. If you want real stuff, you have to give up something. Amen. 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 I want to tell you, amen, praise God. I, I talk to you about taking it, right? Oh, yeah, we'll go back into the booth. I tell you, yeah, I know what we got on the end yeah. Yeah. Now, now here we go. Now, whatever you want, y'all to get in the real issue. Jacob needed something. His brother was going to kill him. He said, if I ever see him, I'm going to kill you. And Jacob knew that, so he sent his wife and his children away, and he was left alone. Now, this is verse 30, uh, chapter 32, verse 24. And, and, and Jacob was left alone, and thou wrestled a maid with him until the break of day. Now, Jacob was left alone. Now, Jacob needed a blessing. And y'all get it? He didn't take the bread and he don't walk over the east side and he said, hey, son, hey, man, he grew out. Amen. And when he, and when he, amen, uh, amen, break, amen. He made wrath for him until the break of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the heart of his thigh. And the heart of his the heart of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. And he, Rouse with him. Jacob still said, Rouse him, wouldn't give up. And, the, and he said, Let me go. The angel said, Let me go. For, it, for the day break, the angel won't get away until they get daylight. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Yeah. Now he had to get an angel. He wouldn't let him go. So I ain't going to let you go. You're going to bless me for it. That night, the angel doesn't hit the car of his back. He got one leg to wait for his neck. Listen to what happened. They got dressed. Amen. And he said to them, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou thy power with God and with me. And have a bed. Amen. 
Now you see what it says? He blessed him. I say he blessed him. Yeah. It'll never be saved when he saved him. Huh? But still, I take the whole lot from stuff. I'm going to show you something and y'all see what it says. He got back. Esau ain't going to kill him now. 35. God called him to make another surrender. <laughs> Y'all get it? Now he even got blessed, but he ain't got the blessing. But at 35, and God said to Jacob, Arise and go up to Bethany and dwell there, and make that an altar to God. The pair of me when I free when I brought the pair that Esau that brought. And Jacob said unto his household and all that was with him, they were saying, I forgive you. Y'all listen. Put away the strange God that was among you. Now, he, you know, it is like he did. He, he, to, to get the fullness of God. He still got some new. Yeah. Some giving up to. Get that real pay. Amen. He blessed. He saved. But now, God is the man in this is what he said. And Jacob said that his eyes opened to all that that was with him. Could have been strange, God, that was you and be clean. Change the rainbows. And something else he had to do. That will be a thing. Now you got to change the rainbows. <laughs> See, God always demands something from you. And Jacob had to do this. Change the rainbows. And change your ring, go. And let and let us go and let us arise and go to bed. Then I will make there an altar to God who answered me in the day of my distress and will work me in the way which I went. Now, and then this is what they did. They gave unto Jacob all the strength of God which was in their hand. And all that air rain we do in the hill. And Jacob hit them on the oak. The little oak that was. Now y'all see did you see this? Now Jacob is still, he got cleaned out. I mean love said. But he ain't had the blessing yet. <laughs> He done gave up. He got all that stuff out. All that filled out of his house. But he ain't blessed yet. See, they some guests do get their real get their real blessing now. Look go there. I want to show you. Because I think sometimes we need to know that really we got to give up. Now we go to the third and it's still the third field. Chapter 39. Till then, three days had helped Jacob. And God fell unto Jacob again when he came out of it and blessed him. Now, here come back. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And blessed him. Now, he did all the other stuff. But he hadn't got this blessing yet. And bless him. And God said to me, I'm thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said to me, I am God Almighty. It's just a little more of that stuff that my time here when we think about giving up. We just, you know, you 
give up calling what you put out of life. You get? You don't want to do out of life, then you give up a little. But if you want to get a real blessing, it's going to cost you. To really be blessed of God, it's going to cost you to surrender your life. Huh? You can't be just doing what you want to do, but you be blessed. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and, and three things, when you really look at the first thing, the very first thing, he wrapped it with angels until he got it uh, saved, blessed. Yeah. But now he had really, and then he got to call him Noah. Now he got to get his house clean. That may not look like a man that your house means nothing to you. But what's going on in your house means a whole lot to you. What are you receiving from God? You can't, can't, can't do anything at home and think they expect the best. You got to do some cleaning. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to have faith. Now my faith don't work like that. Faith works on a commitment and a dedication. Get it? Faith way when you commit and dedicate your life to serve God. Right? Because you're looking for some supernatural, not natural. You're not looking for a natural blessing. Because they the government is natural. The man is natural. Huh? I can't take the man and, and, and agree with the man and have faith in his book. Uh -huh. If I believe in his book, I'm going to have this spirit to me. Yeah. I'm going to have this spirit to go. Because uh -huh. the doctrine of Jesus is not the same as the doctrine of prophet. Yeah. His doctrine is the doctrine of faith. Faith. You can't sit down and talk about the what this here and that and have faith. The Bible says, can't serve two, have two masters. Can't serve two masters. You either serve one, spy the other, love the other one, and I hate the other one. But you can't serve God and have two. So you can't really have faith and agree with what God in the world. But the world and God disagree. Everybody come to the amen. And when you talk about natural you stuff, you lose faith. Uh -huh. And that's why a lot of people lose faith. Because they talk about natural the stuff, amen. And if you look at the I'm not telling you that boy Shane. I'm not telling you that little guy, amen. And build some stuff. I'm going to tell you when you sit down and try to figure out what to do, it's not done, you're going to lose out of God. But they have faith. People can't tell you that the thing is your faith. Faith is the other one of one God. Up on this vow. Only when you have supernatural faith, you're going to have to believe the word of God. And that itself does not feel faith. It scares you. Huh? I know it's like you know, it, it, it kind of like, like you said, you know, man, you know. I ain't saying no, no. The Bible says you have what you say. You have what you say. You don't have what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Talk about healing. Talk about the living. Talk about something God can do for you. Talk about the supernatural. But you spend all your time talking about the natural. Y'all don't have faith for these God. That's why the lawyers and the doctors didn't believe him in. And the Pharisees just said, Where did they get this wisdom from? Where did the United States come from? Who gave him this wisdom? He said, You do what well, I need to know my doctrine. The doctrine of Jesus, the doctrine of faith. Yeah. It changed your attitude, it changed your mind, uh -huh. huh? it changed what you think. Yeah, so this book here is a book of faith and supernatural things. Ain't nothing 
nothing natural about this Bible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything you read in this Bible is supernatural. Yes. And you would have to have a spirit, and you would have to believe to understand the Bible. You would have to have faith to know what Jesus is talking about. Because that faith, you can believe it. He gonna say, hey "Amen." He gonna tell you, "Here's the man put it, ain't got no leg. He can make a man in whole. Yeah. Here's the put it, ain't got no eyes. He can feel and give new eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? He created a part of him. Not only, hey "Amen." You can't, you can't put this with the natural stuff. He can create miracles. He created the impossible. That means he can take anything. He can take nothing and make something out of it. He made man out of dust. 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 Green dust. Breathe into a novel the breast of life. And he became a living soul. And had more wisdom than anybody else would. That's all we got to say. He come here with more wisdom. Yeah. Not only that he had no wisdom by his soul, he didn't come here with him. He was God, like God. He was like God. And that way God was in him all what he like. It had to like him. Yeah. But without him saying, he lost it. Yeah. Right? But he said, hey man, his wisdom stopped. See, because this stuff is supernatural. It's a supernatural thing that God is doing for the church, and the church cannot have supernatural wisdom and natural wisdom at the same time. Yeah. We're going to believe God or believe the world. Uh-huh. And if we believe the world, we ain't going to believe God. Because yeah. you can't believe both of them. The other day I'm crazy, but you can't believe both. Because I am just a man of man, man in the system of God. And I walked down a little great street, amen, great God, and probably is not made of my life to leave God. Right? How full of children. And I got to get seven, I could have went to got some welfare. But I couldn't believe in welfare in God, too. I had to believe in one another. If you believe in what man can do for you, or believe in what God can do for you. <laughs> because if you walk up supernatural, you have to believe in what God can do for you. Amen. You can't believe God had a way. You're going to say, God, you know, you promised me, you told me to do it, and you promised me if I do it, you're going to be with me always, and I'm going to trust you for it. He didn't tell me he's alive. Lord, you're lying to me. He said, what is that something about belief? Should that make the word of God not effect? No. Let a man get a lie that will God be true. Yeah. When you believe in something, uh-huh. believe is so strong yeah. that, you, that you got that. When they got ready, when the man got ready, Daniel made man praise God. They got ready to, when they had signed the decree and said, then they called the man of God over and Bill came to remind me. Daniel went and did the opposite. Went to the house, opened the, went up there, the chamber, opened the one up, prayed three times a day. And he was bound to put me in the army. But when they got to bring God down to put him in the loud there, listen what the king said. Oh, Daniel, if thou continually believe in thy God, he will deliver you. Yeah. If you continually believe in your God, he will deliver you. Yeah. No doubt about it. Hallelujah. If you continue to believe in the name God, Now what the matter was we amen come back to Abraham and Amen make 
believe God. Yeah. It did not nothing happen with that then, did it? When you believe it. Yeah. You're 430 years later. Like that stuff happened. God kept his promise. Yeah. See, God going to keep his promise. And that's why it is this book here is supernatural. All we remember is supernatural. Yeah. It's not natural. Nothing natural about this book. Uh -huh. Amen. But even the word, amen, is alive. Live. Yeah. These words are alive. Praise God. Amen. These words are alive. They're all the book here. Praise God. You may need to look at it. It may be like you see it just leaking off the book. Miracle, sign, wonder, supernatural thing. God will follow the miracle. That's where it's going to work. Then you can believe it, and nothing God can do for you. Amen. And that's why, amen, I said that we were back up to Abraham because he believed it. And when you get ready to decide to think about what you want to do in life, this is what you got to do. Back up and see whatever Abraham had to do for you, God. Back up and see what Jacob had to do to read God. Now you may want to say that it was you really have a real faith, but you can't do it. You want what? You can't live like the world, look like the world, and you have real faith. It ain't work. <laughs> it just ain't work. You better give up some. Huh? I know you may not have that question on how this is uh, no, no, this is not they ain't done. This is the Lord does. And Mark is in his eyes. This is what God can do. This is not what they do. This is why when Jacob finally wrapped on the y'all night, finally got rest, and walked out there with a, on a cave, lived, and probably all he had to make it. Now, this is what God And God said, Jacob, go up to Bethlehem and fill an altar. <laughs> and feel all of Huh? He done got blessed, right? A lot of us went on church. He done got the real book. But that was all Jacob wanted. Go and feel all of it. Feel all of it. And Jacob down there, I'm going to bet that he came in and he comes around. He looked like he had some folks following him. He bought the man, his wives and children, and he made the other thing. And he had all kinds of gods. Uh -huh. Done everything, see? That's the only thing your faith in everything don't work. Your faith is like gas and water, it won't mix. It won't mix with this other stuff. You know, you can say, well, I'm afraid of God. I'm going to allow you to do anything you want to do. You can be, be a playboy, that's your kid. Yeah. Well, you can be a hippie, that's your kid. Yeah. You can be a hired, that's still your kid. Yeah. You can be a prophet, that's still your kid. Uh -huh. But none of these things that you've done are going to make you have faith. Yeah. Faith is when you believe in this book. Yeah. Believe in God. Yeah. That's a faith of a and to believe in the Bible, that means you will it. Will it do what? Give up. But yeah. uh -huh. well, you have to give up. Yeah. I know we, we have a lot of people that you know, you're good, man. You're good, man. You're good, man. Day and time have not changed. Amen. People that want something from God, you ought to give up something. I'm going to give up something. I have to give up. Mm -hmm. Everybody else that is blessed with God will have to give up. Ain't no kidding. God, amen. It don't make no difference. Like we go to church all our life. Uh -huh. And now we're going to be blessed. Hang around. Mm -hmm. But when you make that thing in your mind, uh -huh. you're going to believe God. Yeah. You can have the supernatural. Y'all know the Lord. The supernatural. Yeah. You want the things of God. Oh, yeah. And the thing that God promised you. Had nothing to do with that day long. Because uh -huh. see, man, your kid is but so much. Right. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. You would eat. 
Touch and bless in Jesus' name. Amen. 